boys and girls, it's Miss Davis from Pleasant Valley. Today we are going to be learning about what's my role. So let's go ahead and get started with our quick look. So we're going to do our quick look. So what do you see and how do you see it? All right, so now what I want you to do is think of how you saw that quick look. All right, do you have it in your heads? Okay. So if you said that you would take these four dots and carry them over to fill this tens frame to have a full tens frame, good job. So you would have a full tens frame with 10 dots and one left over, so 10 plus one is 11. Let's go ahead and do the next one. What do you see and how do you see it? All right, so go ahead and think of how you saw that quick look. Put it in your brain. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about it. So if you said that you put these two dots and you moved them over to the first tense frame to fill it up, good job. So we have a full tense frame now if we take those two dots and move it over. And then we have one, two, three left over. So 10 plus three is 13. So 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, one more. What do you see and how do you see it? All right, so think of how you saw that quick look. Get it in your brain. All right, is it locked in? All right, let's go ahead and see how you saw it. So if you said you moved this dot over to fill the tens frame, good job. So you move this dot over, we have a full tens frame, and then one, two, three, four dots left over, so 10, plus four equals 14. All right, now let's go ahead and start with our math message. So our math message today says, June is th three years older than Kevin. If Kevin is seven years old, how old is June? So June is three years older than Kevin. If Kevin is seven years old, how old is June? Go ahead and try to solve that. All right. So if June is three years older than Kevin, we know that then her age is going to be greater than Kevin's age. So if Kevin was seven years old, if we count up three, seven, eight, nine, ten, then that means June is ten years old. So right now what I'm going to introduce to you, this is called What's My Role? So what's my role is when we need to figure out what our role is. So if we're adding, if we're subtracting, and by what number we're doing that. So the first one says, is if Kevin is eight years old, how old is June? So right here, it says Kevin, and this says June. All right, so I'm going to write eight years old for Kevin. We know that our role, June is three years older than Kevin. So if she is three years older, our numbers getting bigger, we are adding. So we're going to add three, and we're adding three what? She's three years. So our unit is years. All right, so if Kevin is eight and June is three years older, we're adding how old is June going to be? So eight, let's go ahead and count forward, three. So eight, nine, 10, 11. So if Kevin's eight years old, then June is going to be 11 years old. All right, next, what if Kevin is nine years old? So I'm going to write nine down. So nine, our rule is plus three, plus three. Nine plus three, 10, 11, 12. June would be 12 years old. And the last one, what if Kevin is go ahead and add three more now. So we're at 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, so the number that goes in the second column is the age for June. This is because this is what we're getting after we add our rule of June being three years older than Kevin.
All right, let's go ahead and try this now. So we have Rissa and Joe, all right? So how many years younger? We need to figure out who is the younger one. So Rissa is seven and Joe here is five. So which one would be the younger person? If you said Joe, you're right. So Joe is younger. We're going from bigger to smaller. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out how many years younger Joe is. So let's look and see if we can find a pattern. This side is the bigger number, so this is Rissa's side, and this side has the smaller numbers right now. So if we're at seven and we need to go to five, all right, let's count back and see how many hops we count back. So we're at seven, six, five. How many hops did you count back? If you said two, that's correct. All right, let's try it with eight and six just to double check our answers. So we're at eight. Let's go ahead and count back to six and see how many hops we've got. So eight, seven, six. How many hops? If you said two, then you're correct. So our rule must be, if we're going from bigger to smaller, we know that we're subtracting. And each time we subtracted, we got the answer of two hops, so two. So we are taking away two years of age every time we do this. Let's go ahead and figure out the last two. So 10 minus two, let's count back two hops. Nine, eight. So 10 minus two equals eight. All right, and the last one, 15. Let's count back two hops. 14, 13. So our answer for this one is 13. So when Rissa is seven, Joe is five. When she is eight, he is six. When she is nine, he is seven. When she is 10, he is eight. And when she is 15, he is 13. So our rule, our numbers are getting smaller by two each time. function machine. So the machine is set to follow a certain rule. If you drop a number in the top, the machine does something to the number according to the rule and a new number, new number comes out the bottom. So we're putting a three in, our rule is plus six. So three plus six, our new number at the end is nine. So this is our function machine. So a function machine uses a rule to change numbers. You put a number into the machine, the machine uses it to change its number, and then the change number comes out. So this is the same thing that was on the other page. So we put a two in, we add 10 more, 12 comes out. This one, it's showing subtraction. So we put a number in, we're subtracting three, and then we get a new number out. So sometimes with our function machines, we're not sure of what the rule is. The rule is sometimes missing. So sometimes we'll have this chart and our in and out chart will be filled out, but we need to figure out what the rule is. So the first thing that you should do is you should look at your in column and your out column. Which side has the bigger number is what you wanna think of first. So we're trying to think, our, let's just back up. Let's look at our in column. Is the inside bigger or smaller than the outside? So this one has a two and the outside has a zero, five and three, six and four. So we know this side is has the bigger number. So if we're putting a two in and then getting a smaller number, we're taking away. So if we're taking away, that would be subtraction. So we need to figure out what our rule is. So what are we subtracting by? So we put a two in and then we get zero out. Let's count how many hops it takes us to get from two to zero to figure out what we could be subtracting by. So we're at two, one, zero. How many hops did that get you? Two hops. Let's go ahead and try it with five and three. So I'm at five. I'm going to count how many hops it takes us to get back to three. So five, four, three, two hops again. So our rule must be subtracting by two. 
our number is getting smaller by two each time. So sometimes you might have to figure out what the rule is. But remember, when you do that, look at your in column. Are these numbers bigger or smaller than the out column? So if they're bigger, then you are subtracting. If these numbers are going from smaller to bigger, you are adding. All right, so let's go ahead and we will solve these. So we're putting three in our machine, adding six to it, three plus six. Go ahead and solve that. You got nine, you are correct. Five plus six, so we're putting five in the machine, adding six to it. What does that equal? Five plus six. Remember, if you are having trouble adding these, use your fingers, draw a picture. So five plus six equals 11. All right, now this one, we don't know what our rule is, so we need to figure it out. Remember, the first thing you should do, look at your in column, all right? Are your numbers going from bigger to smaller or from smaller to bigger? So we're going from six to two, so we know our numbers are going from small to big. So six to two, let's go ahead and count how many hops back we're doing. So remember, if we're going from bigger to smaller, we are subtracting. So six, five, four, three, two. How many hops did I count back? You said four, that's correct. Let's try it again with 10 to six. So we have 10, let's count how many hops it takes us to get back to six. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six. How many fingers did I put down? I put four down. So our rule must be subtracting by four. All right, now the next one, our rule is plus four. But here's the thing, sometimes we are missing numbers in the in column. So when you're missing numbers in the in column, you have to do the opposite because we already have our out answer. All right, so here's a picture of our machine. We have our out and we have our in. All right, and we know our rule is plus four. Okay, so we already know that this is six. So we need to figure out what this in number is. What plus four equals six? So we could just do the opposite and subtract. So six minus four equals, let's do that. So if we have six and we take four away, one, two, three, four, how many do I have left? Two, all right. So six plus minus four equals two. So and then we can check our work by saying, all right, two in plus four equals six. We can do that one more time with this one. So now we have 16 and our rule is plus four, but remember we have our out number, so we have to do the opposite. So 16 minus four, if we're at 16, let's count back four spots and see what we get. So 15, 14, 13, 12. So 12 plus four equals 16, 16 minus four equals 12. All right, and our last one. So the last one, we have some ins missing and some outs missing, all right? And we need to figure out what the rule is. So if you're looking for your in number, you're going to do the opposite. If you're looking for your out number, you're going to follow the rule. All right, let's go ahead and figure out what our rule is for the first one, or what our in number is for the first one. So we know that our rule is minus three. So if we're subtracting, we're going from a bigger number to a smaller number. So we just need to add three to four to figure out our answer, because remember, when you're figuring the in out, you're doing the opposite. So four plus three, let's do the math. So four, and let's add three more, so four, five, six, seven. How many did I get? Seven. And then we can check it. Seven minus three equals four. Let's do the next one. Twelve, so 
we can follow our rule in our function machine for this one because it's going in order. We have our in number, we need to figure our out number out. So 12 minus three, let's go ahead and count back. So we're at 12, 11, 10, nine. So we landed on nine for that one. All right, and then you can keep going. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take some time to do some extra practice. So you are going to be working on journal page 56. It's titled, What's My Rule? And this is lesson 3-7. So you're working on this page. And then after you finish this page, you should also do your home links. So your home links are 3-7. So there's two pages to your home links. Front here, and then the back, all right? So you're going to be working with your What's My Rule tables and the function machines. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your teacher and have a great day.